Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll discuss vibration, mode shapes, and natural frequencies. Every structure can vibrate at certain frequencies called natural frequencies. The lowest frequency of vibration is commonly called the fundamental frequency, and higher multiples of that are sometimes called harmonics. Also, each natural frequency is associated with a certain shape of the structure, called a mode shape which it tends to assume when vibrating at that frequency. If dynamic loads coincide with one of the structure's natural frequencies, it can undergo large displacements. This phenomenon is known as resonance. For undamped systems, resonance theoretically causes infinite motion. Damping, however, nearly always exists and helps to limit the response of the structure. Resonance is a condition that most designs try to avoid. For example, if the motor mounted to this frame runs at 600 RPM, you would not want any of the structure frequencies to coincide with that frequency or the assembly could shake apart. SolidWorks Simulation Professional can help you discover the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a structure. Since it is known that natural frequencies depend on the geometry of the structure, its material properties, as well as its support conditions and in-plane loads, you can avoid a resonance condition through redesign by altering these characteristics. The computation of natural frequencies and mode shapes is known as modal, Frequency or normal mode analysis. SolidWorks Simulation Professional Frequency Analysis helps you find these natural frequencies and mode shapes. If you purchase the SolidWorks Simulation Premium software, you can also include damping effects and actual dynamic loads. To illustrate natural frequencies and mode shapes a little better, consider a cantilever beam. For this case, we use a common handsaw like a crosscut saw. If you clamp one end, then apply a displacement to the free end and let go, the saw will vibrate at its natural period or fundamental frequency, and its mode shape will look like the illustration. Without damping, it will oscillate forever about its cantilevered end. Notice the mode shape appears similar to the initial deformation. Here is a shell element model of the saw blade with a clamped end. A frequency analysis was conducted. Note that if you shake the clamped end up and down with a dynamic load at this frequency, it will result in the mode shape shown. It will resonate, and without proper damping, it would eventually break apart. The frequency value is usually reported in hertz, or cycles per second, or in radians per second. If you need the value in RPM, just multiply the hertz value by a factor of 60. Also, be careful interpreting the displacement results. Since this is a free vibration problem, there are no loads applied, but the legend does give relative values so you can evaluate performance. To read the legend, choose a color red, for example. Its value is about 86. Now look for half that value, or 43. The color of 43 is green on the legend. So, you can report that if the structure is vibrating at this frequency, the red colored areas on the structure will move twice as far as the green colored areas. The actual displacement values will depend on the dynamic loads that are applied, which you can do with the SolidWorks Simulation Premium product. Watch what happens if you apply a momentary or impact load to the end of the saw. The saw will vibrate at a higher frequency, and you will see a mode shape something like this. Simulation Professional will also find these higher frequencies of the structure. Here's the frequency analysis result of a higher mode shape and frequency. A real structure has an infinite number of natural frequencies and mode shapes. However, a finite element model of the same structure has a finite number of natural frequencies equal to the number of degrees of freedom of the finite element model. In this video, we've discussed vibration, mode shapes, and natural frequencies.